here. Now, in this environment, there isn't any power, so it makes it very, very difficult mm -hmm. to see some of the stuff. So, what you would probably do is maybe one of the other guys would walk around with a torch and just go in advance beforehand and try and help him out and pick up some things. If, you do, if you're doing it with two people, so much easier. Like, if you, if you did two people at every inspection, you would get more done than if one was. If you had to do 10 inspections, you would get, and 10 together, you would get that done easier than maybe doing three or four on your own. Even just for one person checking the, the condition report, whilst the other one's taking photographs, the other one's taking notes, two sets of eyes, so you're walking, you're walking, and it's so much quicker than, than you going off one way or another. Anyway, yeah. so, so you're gonna go and walk around. Remember we looked at the drains, what we're looking for inside of here, look at the drains. Looking at soap scum on the showers inside of here. I look at the subjects. That one moves. Yeah, yeah, but you have to you have to get like a knife or something to bring it up. Um, so you're checking toilets, you're checking uh, shelves in through the year. What does that look like in there? Good. Well done. Right. What's listening? Underneath, check underneath. Just tighten that where the drain is. Just tighten the um, the S bend. Check the towel rails. Flush the toilet. Yep, move the toilet seat, make sure it's still, yep, so just you wobbling it to the side, make sure the toilet seat connection is still there. So you're checking inside all the shelves, it's okay. Now in, inside of the mirror, bring the mirror over, yep. What's that, is that clean? We don't want three people in there. No, no. Not it's, really. it's not clean? No. Okay. All right, so it's still dirty. So we just need to get what it looks like. If you've walked in here, you've got dirt on the floor, Dirt in here, dirt there, you can almost guarantee the rest of the place is dirty. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Not disgusting, just needs to be clean. So this is where you would then say to the tenant, your choice, you either come back, you need to sweep, mop the floors, the carpets haven't been steam cleaned, but remember that the carpets don't have to be steam cleaned. Oh. That's not, the law doesn't say, just because you're riding into a lease, if the carpets were steam cleaned today and we're doing a lease, now I don't know whether we do this now, and we're doing a lease tomorrow, attach the steam cleaning to the lease. So then when the person leaves in 12 months time, they have to steam clean. Oh. No, one second, one second. Only if you've put it at the start. Okay. And it has to be attached to the lease or it has to be given to the tenant. But if, they, if you haven't done that, you can't force them at the end, even if it's written in the lease. Uh, I think this, uh, before this uh, camera moving, this property was brand new, so... Everything is fine. Yeah, uh, so if there is a brand new uh, yes. carpet, so how could I ask the uh, tenant to... Good, good question, them? yeah. So I would actually, I would ask them to steam clean the carpet, but we can't force them because we haven't given them that first, first lease. Yeah, we haven't given to them at the start of the lease. Yeah. Um, so maybe if it's a brand new property, we would put in as a special condition saying that the property was brand new at the commencement of the lease. At the end of the lease, the expectation is that the carpet is steam clean. Okay. That's better than just putting in, you have to steam clean the carpet. Do you know what I mean? If you went to VCAP, everything is about going to VCAP mm -hmm. and convincing a judge or a member that your story is better than the tenant's story. And sometimes you win, sometimes you don't. Mm -hmm. So that's how I'll do that. But a great question, really good question. So now we're actually, we've done the laundry, so we know, the bathroom, so we know the mirrors look a little bit grotty as well. Um, does that light look like it's falling out or does it like, look like it's just a... Yeah. Okay, so we, have, we, we picked up on that one. So do we have to pick up every dirty spots? Like, yes, so, dusty, yeah, so what, what you do is just put um, on the condition report, mm -hmm. on the vacate, mm -hmm. Dirty, every area, just dirty, dusty. Yeah, okay. yeah. Needs to be clean. Yeah. So the light's falling out. Now, remember I said in here, what did I say in here when we first moved in? When we first moved in, when we first walked in, what did I say about these lights? Do you remember? When you were taking a photograph? Yeah, no, what did I say about the lights? Take a photograph of the lights, for what reason? Um, Do you remember what kind of lights it is? In case the, the, uh, the uh, tenant will fall off the uh, light. 
take it with that sort of light because they look like they're difficult to change. So that looks like one where you have to get in and pull it down. It has two pins and it's difficult to get back in. Just like that. Yeah. <laughs> so I didn't know that was there, but I know these lights and they're very, very difficult. And if tenants try and do that, even myself, um, I've tried to change lights like that and I haven't been able to get them back. I've had to get an electrician to come in and fix it. And what you look for around the lights, when you're doing a condition report, what you look for is marks all the way around because what they tend, what the tenants tend to do is they stick a screwdriver or a, generally a knife, stupid because it's electricity, but they stick a knife in there to pull it down. So the way those lights work is there's two pins that are sitting inside the hole and you've got to pull it down and then it flicks it out. So in order to get them back in, you've got to put the pins in and then squash it back in. If you don't know what you're doing, very easy to damage the um, plaster or you end up with a lot like that, okay? So that needs to be in the vacate inspection that we've got, the tenant has to come back and either repair that or pay for that to be repaired. The very first thing I would do is ask the question, what happened to the light? So make sure we've got the um, uh, flash on there. Okay. Well, can we take the photograph with the flash? Yes. Perfect. Now, what were we talking about originally with also scale? Remember we talked about having um, the pen the key. or keys yeah. or something? Yeah. Have you got pen? Yeah. So in that scenario, remember I talked about this? So take the photograph. See how it's all damaged around the side? Yeah, and if you're taking a photograph of the, um, of the shower rows already. If, if you're just taking photos from a distance, at the time you might know what it looks like, but a person who's not in the apartment has to know what it looks like. Mm -hmm. So the next one we're coming into, have you gone through the condition report? How does it look? Was it all brand new? Yeah, those, those, uh, this part are all brand new. How long? So they must have been in here for two and a half years. Yep. Is that right? Yeah. Uh, this image has been... Yep. So what we're now looking at is the laundry, because that's where we're working through. Renata? Sorry. Okay. So remember, we're going to... Yeah, you're tightening that. Excellent. Good. So what we look for here, if there's a light, there's no light. Now, it looks like, it looks yes, like the door has been taken off. Now, what we have to have a look at, Renata, yep. is the laundry, is the door on the drain, is it still there or has it come off? It's still, uh, it's, it's still there. Okay, so now we've picked up, Do, can you see why it's really important we have the condition report? Because we wouldn't know, we know the door's missing, but now we have to go back and figure out was it there beforehand, we're just wasting so much time. So now, where's the door? You know what I mean? It's like, yeah, it's, a, yeah. it's a big thing. So you ask, uh, what's happened with this door? Yeah, we might find it somewhere, but, and what is it like in there? Is it dirty in there around there? If it's dirty, have a look at the light, and you see how dirty it is at the back? Yeah. So what we need to do, so what we need to do down in here, see how dirty it is? So we need to put something uh, along there to have, see how dirty it is. Maybe a pen or something, and just to look how dirty. A tree? Yeah. No, at the back. Look at, look at all the black, all the, all the oh, gunk oh, in the back there. Okay, uh, so put a pen down there, take a photograph. I have another question. Yeah. So, uh... Um, Who's taking a photo? Yeah? Yeah, you're taking yeah, it. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Beautiful. Try to deal with some tenant. Yes. Uh, with of this problem, yep. they said this is should be considered as a rent. No, that's that's dirt. That's dirt. So, how said, as I just said, we didn't consider that as a No, exactly. Yeah, it's dirt. And then, yeah, just say to them. And so, well, you might think it's fair wear and tear. I think it's dirt. It's, we're going to get a cleaner to go through and clean it. It's going to cost you $200 to do a vacate clean, or you go back. And if it's not, then I'll take you to VCAT and get the money out of VCAT, out of the bond. Oh, 
So what we're doing here, have a look at the cupboards because the cupboards, it's hard to see. How are they? Are they okay or a bit dirty? It's hard to see without the light. The other thing that I'll be taking a photograph is the ceiling fan. See, it's got a little bit of, is that mold or just fluff or stuff up there? So just take a photograph of that. Because remember, whatever condition this is in now, we're now got one tenant out, we're starting with a new tenant. So we don't want to have a new tenant coming in with no door, dirty here, dirty on the glass, um, you know, uh, dirt up here, because it's just, when, as soon as you as soon as you allow one tenant to get away with dirt, then the next tenant comes in with something which is dirty. All of these shelves need to be then just spray. It's really just a spray and wipe. It's not difficult. Um, so now we've got scuff marks all over the walls, and it's difficult to see in here. But what is it? Skirting top pulling Yeah, no, the skirting, the the skirting all the way along. So the skirtings have to be done uh, throughout. What we can't check for, what we have to make a note of, is we can't <coughs> check for the lights. Mm. So, pardon? Yeah, we can't check any of the appliances. So if this is a brand new property to have a look at, that's a good example to come to. So fair wear and tear, Renata, is along here. That's fair wear and tear. Okay, so there's marks along here. Some of them we would like to try and get clean. Yeah, oh, some, but that's sometimes that's fair wear and tear. What's not fair wear and tear is here. See that? Now you might have to. So that means a lot more. Um, something is spilled. Yeah. So in order to get that, you're going to need to put something like a pen or a book or something along there so that you can show scale. Now, if you can't see that on your on the phone, it's not going to make any sense, is it? Can you see it? Can you see the difference? Yeah. As long as it doesn't look like a shadow. Take it from a couple of angles. If you go to VCAT, they'll want to see a couple of different little angles in that one. Same here, I'd be getting them to come back and clean the fan. So I'm going to put these bottles off the fan. Um, as I said, like if you're looking at if you're looking at just along the wall, mm -hmm. that you would never get away with that. Yeah. You would never get away. That's a mark. Yeah. yeah, yeah. That's not. You try to switch off your torch light because that's, it's that's too bright. You can't see the thing. Not on the wall. Oh, wait, Pardon? What, what about this mark on the wall? No, that's not fair wear and tear. You don't know what that is? No, that's a mark. Yeah, so that's like a thingy mark on the wall. Yeah, so like little things yeah. like that, that you'll never get those in VCAT. But the skirting all the way through needs to be done. So, so, so for the fair wear and tear, you don't have to get them in the final. I wouldn't. Um, I would just mark, uh, you know, scuff marks throughout, and you have to accept it. So if there's scuff marks, what you don't accept is that. Mm -hmm. yeah. you, you can't really get away too much with that. You can ask them to come back and wash that. Mm -hmm. It's going to look exactly the same. Yeah. Um, and then we come back through. So all of the cupboards. So you can see here all the marks where the fridge are. And there's marks down the wall. That needs to be that needs to be washed. Each of the drawers, each of the drawers, even at the top of the drawers, see here, yeah. just, just there, just all of that, mm -hmm. none of that's been cleaned and there's still food inside. It's, dirty. it's just dirt. See all the drawers? Yeah. So each drawer you need to open up. The other thing you do, particularly with the cutlery, See here, mate. Just see the, see the drawers. Now, don't take a photograph of every one, but just go through and show that as an example. Take a photograph. You've got food inside the drawer. Um, so there's food inside the drawer. Have a look at the fridge to see whether that's clean. Inside the cutlery drawer, make sure you lift the cut. Uh, next one. Next one down uh, the drawer. Semi yep. So lift, lift that. Lift the cutlery drawer out. Lift the, cutlery, lift the cutlery drawer out. Yeah. 
Yeah, so just check that. Make sure that's all okay. If it's dirty, the cutlery drawer itself is dirty. Uh, yeah, it's all, it's all dirty. Yeah. So the other thing we have to have a look at, remember we looked at the, the fan. Mm -hmm. If they've been here for two and a half years, I'm thinking that they haven't washed the filters. So have a look at the filters. Uh, a little bit oily. Yeah, so bring it out. So I would pull that out and I would leave that here in the sink. Has it just come down, does it? Yeah, it's come down. Okay, so how do they wash it? It has to come off somehow. Yeah, it has to keep that aside. Oh. Put it in the sink. Don't leave it on the bench because it will stain the bench. Because that oil will fall. So just leave it into the sink. Yeah, okay. So they need to wash the, need to wash the filter. So it's part of that. Check inside the oven. Now I can see already all the marks along the, uh, what does the oven look like? The mark. Is it clean? Yeah. Open up the, open up the torch. Looks okay? Uh, no, marks on the sides. Yeah, how much? A lot? Quite, quite a lot. Okay.